तो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर लेक्चर इन ग्रैंचर कोर्स सीरीज बाय टेक लेटेंस डॉट नेट सो फार वी हैड कवर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक ग्रैंचर कोर्स ओवरव्यू ऑब्जेक्टिव्स देन सेटअप एंड कॉन्फिगरेशन ऑफ ग्रैंचर ऑन एडब्ल्यूएस जीसीपी अजर देन वी हैड कवर द ग्रैंचर गुई देन वी हैड कवर द ग्रैंचर सीएलआई नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट ग्रैंचर आर्किटेक्चर ओके सो टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इनटू द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ ग्रैंचर अ फॉर ऑफ ओपन सोर्स प्लेटफार्म दैट सिंपलीफाइज क्यूबरनेटिस मैनेजमेंट अक्रॉस मल्टीपल क्लस्टर्स whether you are new to kubernetes or an experienced operator understanding rancher architecture is the key to leveraging its full potential so first of all let's see what is uh, uh, rancher okay so uh, rancher is designed to streamline the deployment management and scaling of kubernetes cluster it provides a consistent user experience uh, across uh, uh, various cloud providers and on premises environments making multi cluster management effortless Rancher abstracts away the complexities of Kubernetes, offering a user-friendly interface for administrators and dev developers alike. Okay, so what are the key components of Rancher architecture? So Rancher architecture is composed of several critical, uh, several, uh, several, crit uh, basically several critical components that work together to provide a seamless Kubernetes management experience. let's break this down one by one okay so if we talking about rancher server so rancher server is the central component that provides the user interface and manages the entire rancher environment okay so at the heart of rancher uh, basically it is called a rancher server a central management uh, that provides uh, oversees and controls all aspects of your kubernetes cluster the server uh, the server handles tasks such as uh, basically the cluster provisioning authentication and authorization multi cluster management okay so what are this cluster provisioning so basically cluster provisioning is uh, uh, a such thing that rancher server can deploy and manage kubernetes cluster across various environments including cloud providers like aws azure and gcp as well as on premise data centers then if we talk about authentication and authorization it integrates with various authentic authentication providers example ldap active directory to enforce access controls and manage user permission across cluster then if we talk on multi cluster management so rancher server basically provides uh, a single pan of glass to manage multiple clusters allowing you to monitor and control them from a central location now next uh, in rancher architecture is agents so basically agents uh, is uh, something our small services deployed within a each kubernetes cluster managed by rancher these agents communicate with the rancher server is rep reporting cluster status and executing commands such as deployment and scaling operation these are typically two types our cluster agent node agent so basically node agent run on each uh, node within the cluster and responsible for tasks such as monitoring if you can say monitoring logging and executing rancher specific operation so node agent is responsible for all this then if we talk about cluster agent so cluster agent is the handles communication between the rancher server and the kubernetes api server of the cluster next we have a uh, uh, rancher kubernetes engine okay so rancher kubernetes engine is something like a light bit kubernetes installer allowing for quick and easy deployment of uh, kubernetes cluster it is designed to infrastructure agnostic meaning it can run with bare metal servers virtual machines or cloud environment with the minimal configuration now external server integration rancher integrates seamlessly with the, a variety of external services and tools to enhance kubernetes functionalities these integration include monitoring and logging if you are talking about monitoring and logging so there are a lot of tools in monitoring and logging like prometheus grafana and fluent to provide compre uh, comprehensive monitoring and logging capabilities for your cluster okay so these all are the tools uh, which uh, like you can say rancher integrates with the prometheus and grafana such type of tools okay now we are talking about ci cd pipelines so rancher can uh, integrate with tools like jenkins gitlab ci and others to automate the deployment and management of application across kubernetes cluster okay next is rancher architecture in action so um, if we are talking about action to understand how these components work together let's consider a typical workflow so provisioning you start by using the rancher server to provision a new cluster this could be in the cloud or on premise and rancher abstract the complexities of the underlying architecture 
uh, underlying infrastructure. Then if you're talking about cluster management, once the cluster is up and running, Rancher deploys cluster agents to maintain communication between the Kubernetes API and Rancher server. Application deployment. You can deploy application across your clusters using Rancher Initiative UI CLIs or APIs. The node agent ensured these deployments are carried out according to the man, 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 uh, configuration, design configuration. Then monitoring and scaling. Rancher integration with monitoring tools always equip to eye on the health and performance of your cluster. So basically, if you are looking for health and other things, so you use some monitoring tools. Okay. So if necessary, you can scale your cluster for application directory from the Rancher dashboard. So let's go to Rancher dashboard. First, let's uh, see. Uh, let's understand one. Let uh, let's understand our Rancher architecture from one example also. Okay. So this is the Rancher user. Okay. And here you can see the Rancher UI CLI or API. This is the Kubernetes Kubernetes API. Then you here you can see the Rancher server and Rancher server data store. So this is the basically the uh, authentication proxy. Then after authentication proxy, here you can see that this is connected with Rancher API server. Then this is connected with etcd, basically Rancher server data store. And with the Rancher API server, uh, this is connected to basically cluster controller. Okay, cluster controller one, cluster controller two, downstream user cluster one, cluster agent one, RK basically Rancher Kubernetes engine, API server, then Kubectr, Kubelet, Node, RKE nodes, Kubernetes provisioned by Rancher Kubernetes engine. Then downstream user 2, cluster 2, Kubernetes provided by Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service like cluster agent 2, EKS control plane, Amazon EKS nodes, and Kubelet uh, and Node. Okay, so let's go to Rancher UI. So this is the, basically the Rancher UI. You can do a lot of stuff here, like you can also run some commands, you can install all the things. This is basically the Vector shell, you can install a lot of things here. Okay, you can see the deployments, nodes. If you click on deployment, so there there is not any deployment here because I'm not doing any deployment right now. Okay, here you can also see the CPU and other things. So basically, in conclusion, a rancher architecture is designed to make Kubernetes accessible and manageable by at scale by providing a robust centralized platform for cluster management. Rancher simplifies the complex task of provisioning, scaling and maintaining Kubernetes environment. Okay, so that's all about this lecture. I hope you guys this lecture and I hope you guys this playlist and this course. Bye bye. We will meet in next lecture.